Okay. Go for it. All right. But we have a morning toast to uh, the Dream Master. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. As you look at the dream, all right, tell me what question you would ask. Okay. And after you do so, say why. Rhonda's the first one, yeah. Right there. Well, we don't have any other copies. They're right. Where are they? Are they gone? They look almost identical. So she would okay. make more copies. Is this the one that starts in Israel? Yeah. Can you make another copy for me? <laughs> oh, this is Rhonda's. Oh, okay. Is this one here? Oh, here. here. Rhonda? I mean, you, uh, did you have it at the... Is there an extra At the next one. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sorry. Eventually, at some point in this dream, I would like to know about the dismissive father. Good. All right. About the what? The dismissive father. Right. Okay. Which one are you looking Someone for? Someone else? What's the what? Good question. What approach would you take in this dream? And if you can add why, it would be helpful. Okay. Come on. Come on. See a dream as being complete, and therefore you're going to look for what's missing. It is complete, but there's something missing. Or you wouldn't be able to ask what's missing. <laughs> right? Sometimes known as, as a disaster. Is that right? Mm -hmm. yeah. well, what, do you have an answer? I haven't read it, actually. I haven't read the dream. Well, it just takes a second or two. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> Could I borrow your copy? Oh, sure. Okay. I would want to know about the discussion about the children and okay. whether it relates to the father right. okay. or the next sentence. Okay, Rhonda, what do you make of the dream? Well, um, I too. Um, wondered about the dismissive, no. as David said, and it seemed to me that the second dream dealt with it mm -hmm. in some sense because uh, the fish um, was struggling, and I was just going to leave it there, kind of dismissive like that, just going to leave it there, mm -hmm. and I didn't. I put it in a little puddle of water, and it was floundering. It was going to die. And, but there was a bigger puddle, so I took it out and put it in the bigger puddle, and it swam. It, it, it could function like a fish. Mm -hmm. And the dream ended. Mm -hmm. So I, in some sense, it seems like I did something with the just dismissive in the second dream. Okay, next. As per state of mind, is there anything you would want to address that would indicate something important about the state of mind she has experienced in the dream, which she has not put in the dream, but since it is total, it's missing, therefore, at what point would you ask, I'd like to know at this point rather than that point, what state of mind you are in? I presume David would be a good point to take off from, which what state of mind, what was it like seeing the father dismissive, you see? Yeah. Yeah. And how did that lead to the next part of right. the discussion? Right, that's right. Right, and, there, the, and that's very crucial because in the dream, um, I didn't like his dismissiveness, and so I... Um, 
I wanted to educate him more about it, and I'm going, well, wait a minute, we're all, ch they're all, ch they're all people of the book, they're, they're Muslims, you're Jews, right, and um, that they're all people of book, they're all children of Abraham, so I just was, um, wanted to educate him more, and um, have him be more tolerant of the Jewish people praying outside, they, because they, they seemed to be sincere. I don't know why they were there, but you know, what that wasn't in the dream. Uh, it wasn't even a question in the dream. And, um. You have some competition. Yes. Yeah, and a, and a yellow butterfly just flew. The winged one. The winged one, right. Two winged ones. <laughs> That's not thunder. <laughs> Yes, go ahead. Um, I didn't. Yeah. I hope he goes out. Now the sirens. And now the sirens. Okay. Um, Barbara? Okay. No, uh, I just asked you what, you said, what I asked you what you said while the plane was going over because I couldn't hear. You. Okay. I said I, I didn't like the dismissiveness of the father. And I wanted to, and, and the people outside, the Jews praying, seemed to be sincere to me. And so I wanted to not, I wanted to educate him so he wouldn't be so dismissive that, and be more tolerant. Hmm. That's not in here, but that's my state of mind. Uh -huh. And so I was saying that we're, they were all, you're all children of Abraham. You're all pe people of the book, which, so just kind of educating him and the family around? I don't know if that answered it, but. Tell me, describe the kind of discussion you had in the dream. Notice, I have a discussion. Do you have any sense about the content? Um, no, only that it was something he wasn't aware of, and so mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. feel like I'm telling them something that they need to be aware of, so they can be more tolerant, and... So he would then be more tolerant? Tolerant of uh, the sincerity of the people outside. Okay. And there was it was a huge family table, a huge big family table. And when I mentioned the children, there was children there. There was aunts and uncles. And um, and then after I said what I said, I don't know more of the content of what I had said, but it generated more talk and some men down at the end of the table were talking about it too. Oh no, that was different. They were talking about the, the woman singing. It wasn't about that. No. Okay. But they did talk about, after your discussion, they talked about what you were saying. Uh, Is that right? No, no, they didn't. Okay. They didn't talk about what I was saying because then the women began to sing the song. Thank you. So, no? talk after I said what I said. Right, right. See, what it looks like is... I have a discussion. What, what? It looks like I had a discussion. Yeah. But I wasn't really a discussion. Yeah. I'm telling them. Yeah, okay. Kind of educating okay. them. Or See, it looks like they're two dismissives. What's the... Well, the first one is quite clear. The second is, did they dismiss what you said? Yes. Hmm. Yes, See? very much so. That's the hidden part of the dream. Oh, that's good. Right? Yeah, yeah. What mm -hmm. was it like, therefore, at that moment when you saw they didn't pick up what you said, but they got very... Um, it's a state that I get into when I'm usually often around my family. Um, where I have something important to say, mm -hmm. and they interrupt and just change the subject. 
Good. Good. And, um, you know, I'm in a place like I, I call, sometimes I call them on it and I wait till they finish what they're doing and then I bring it back to what I was saying so they can finish. Um, or sometimes I let it go because, you know, I'm going, well, I don't know if it's worth the effort. Okay. Okay. What's, what would you say is the drama of the dream? Every dream has a drama. What's the drama here? A way to look at that is, let me just change one word and see if it makes any difference, okay? I am in Brooklyn with Bill and Denise. <laughs> what do you like? What do you like? Kind of heard the Arabs and Israelis don't get along so good in that oh. part of the world. And in, and in Brooklyn, they might be more inclined to get along because this is yeah, the best oh. if you yeah. Of what is one another here. <laughs> <laughs> He's hitting the mark. He hit the mark. He hit the mark. Yeah, yeah. Then what role are you playing in Israel? <laughs> When you're trying to convince those people of something and they dismiss it and change the subject. Savior? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to save the races there. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like it. They didn't like it. I didn't like it. You didn't like it? <laughs> well, I didn't like their I didn't didn't enjoy this family dinner thing. I wasn't, you know. But at the moment you were doing the discussion, how was it? Um well, I was trying to be helpful or trying to educate them or make him more tolerant. Look here. They're two different things, by the way. You have two things going simultaneously. Tolerant and you want to educate them. Mm -hmm. Do you think... Uh, being tolerant of the Jews at that point would be the same thing as educating them, or would it be different? It's different. Oh. So that's why we have to get to your feelings, the state of mind, right? The father is dismissive of what? See, what is he? And who is he? What group does he belong to? He is an Arab. He's an Arab. Right. Thank you. And we're in Israel. Yeah. Right. So he's dismissing the... The Jews. Yeah. Right. Who appeared to be sincere. There was yeah. a whole group of them. It was That's kind right. of strange. They were all down there with these funny little hats yeah. and... Yeah. They're all in his courtyard, you know, and he had this big, beautiful room, and you could see so the people in the courtyard. And why is he being dismissive of what you're saying and seeing? Does it matter to him it that they are so spiritually inclined or religiously inclined, mm -hmm. right, to be doing all the praying for peace? Yeah. They're praying look here, over here. Here they are. They're praying for peace. Yeah. Right. What do you think of that in Israel? I, in the dream, I was, I was quite taken by it. I thought, this is awesome. This is very interesting. And he didn't... By the way... I, oh, yeah, you know. Uh, in yeah. terms of your own view of this, uh, I guess that's the solution to the Israeli problem. Well... A general solution, you know. Uh, because if they keep praying for peace, they'll get it. No. <laughs> what? No. See, no. I don't see in the dream yet how you see the conflict. I'm drawing it from you. Mm-hmm. These are two different things. In the dream, if you're tolerant of it, then it's okay, there's nothing more to say. If you're going to educate them, you might be taking something different, a different approach.
you must have said something because they changed the subject. Right. They didn't want, either they liked it and changed the subject it was finished or... Or they changed, just changed the subject. Yeah. Who were you talking to at that moment? I was talking to the father, the head of the table. He was the big poncho. And he was the one who was dismissing. He said, oh yeah, they're, yeah, 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 kind of a yeah. thing. And I'm going, wow, look what they're doing. Wait a minute, that means then you're on the side of the Jews. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Right? I mean, yeah. in terms of the dream. That's, yeah, that's true. That's true. In some sense, I was on the side of the Jews. I did agree with him, the well, father. It depends upon what you're seeing is dismissive, see? Is he dismissing their, their way of approaching peace? No. Is he dismissive no. of their being Jews? What is he dismissive of? He's dismissive of their, their being Jews. That they're Jews. That they're Jews. Right. And that it wasn't really important. And okay. he was not impressed that they were offering peace. Yeah. Therefore, now see if you can do it in terms of the dream. At that moment then, how are you functioning? You do it. Forget the logic of it. Stay with the dream. Um, no, don't use your everyday logic. You want to address the dream's logic. Mm -hmm. um, You're having a discussion, it says, not with him, but with the children of Israel. Right. Right? Right. So you're here. You have a choice discussion with him or with them. But the dream suggests you're having an ex... you want to talk to them. Is that right? No. I don't see that I wanted to talk to those the people. The children. Out there, the people praying. No, it's the children of Abraham. That means all the people, all the Jews, I presume, not just children. The, the Jews, the Muslims, and the... And, That's right. And, yeah, right, and right. the uh, Christians. Yeah. So that you, so therefore your concern is for them, not him. Yes, the people of the book, yeah. all of them. Good. Right. And then therefore you must be doing something in response to what they're doing in the dream. You're taking a chance to educate them, is that right? Yes, yes. I, yeah. Is that because you're agreeing with the, their... No. 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 You're I'm disagreeing with him, the father. Okay. But you're, it says, though, I have a discussion about the children of Abraham. Mm hmm. Uh, see, is that with him that you have the discussion or with them? Well, it goes two ways. Which way do you want to put it? it but both. <laughs> okay, I don't mind. It's it your dream. No, no, both no, no. The, I I'm was not. addressing him, but everybody was listening. The whole table, all the people, everybody was listening. Okay. Everybody, there were, everybody was a part of a okay. part of. Then you're the, discussing with him what's going on here. Is that right? Yes. Yes. And then you talk to them, you talk to him, and they dismiss what you are saying. Um, well, if the women began to sing a song, that would be, I guess, dismissive. That's why we're interested. <laughs> in, that's why we're interested in the dream, you see. So you have to decide which way it goes, not me. Right. Well, I don't remember any state of mind when the women began to sing. It seemed as That's though true. the discussion had ended. Okay. I said what I needed to say, and I don't remember any state of mind at the end of that. I felt I said what I needed to say and did speak out. 
You see, and, but and the, didn't let it go. Yeah, see, I'm trying to now bring you into the drama. Okay. While you're saying what you're doing, you want to know whether this event has been recorded. In what? Re read it, the last line. Oh, um, the song, had it been recorded? Yeah, yeah. you want to know if it's been recorded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> whether, right? Look here. Yeah. That, that's rather important, is it? Yeah. I wanted to know. I actually, yeah, now the state of mind in that second part when I heard that song, that song, you know, it's like, wow, I had never heard anything like that. Can I get a recording of it? Has it been recorded? I really wanted a recording of it. Yeah, then you... That, How that do would, I get it, you know? But that would be about your discussion. That's so interesting, yeah. Right? On the third part, it may not be clear here, she said they are Jewish, you know, all the Arabs turned into being Jews, that's what she was saying. Oh, no, but they switched. Yeah. The people at the table, oh, they were all Arabs, right? And then, all of a sudden, they're Jews. That's okay. And it wasn't anything that, it was, like, normal. That's okay. That's normal in a dream, right? <laughs> yeah, in the right. dream, it was like, right. okay, right. you know. So the Arabs become Jews. It wasn't questioned in the dream. Right. You see. No, they were Jewish, Look. yeah. If we, could, we, we still are on the drama, yeah. all right? When you find out that a woman named Za has recorded it, what did that do to you in the dream? Um, well, it answered my question, and I wanted to get a recording of it and find out find out more about her or that recording about her Za? well not her but I wanted I wanted the recording I wanted to know how can I get one can is it is this song recorded has anyone recorded it yeah. and they said no and then yeah you're puzzled yeah but why did you want the recording in the dream because it was so beautiful yeah. and unusual. And I had really never heard anything like that. A and, and your talk. And my talk, right. <laughs> Have them keep separating. Yeah, you keep separating yeah. now, don't but, you? Yeah, it's real. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the, the talk, so I, well, I was dismissive of the talk. Right. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right, right. This dismissive is playing dream. a role the whole damn dream. In the damn dream. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right. So, I'm dis I'm also dismissive of. Yeah, kind of like him. Yeah, yeah. And we're seeing that that plays a heck of a role in this because. You're dealing with the dismissiveness yeah. of him. Right. And presumably, it must have some effect because they now become all Jews. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right? Suddenly they're Jews. Yeah. 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 And you now have a recording. I didn't have a recording. But you see, you're not, you're not being dismissive of it. No. You're asking for a recording of it. You may have dismissed a certain aspect of it, but you have an interest in it, and that is not dismissive. No. So that's why I'm interested in knowing what state of mind was it when you heard that Za had recorded the dream? Um. And if it's available. Um, relieved, glad, um, um, anticipating where I could get it, kind of looking forward to finding it. I wanted it. <laughs> So in terms of the drama of the dream, 
by doing this, you're not dismissing it. No. No. Right? No. Hey, I want it. <laughs> yeah. Because in some way, you brought about a rather dramatic change in states of mind, didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. So in that sense, you're playing an interesting role that this dismissive stuff is keeping you from seeing it. But you wake up at the end and you say, hey, I want a recording of it. Good, ah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So you're looking forward to studying something that you've dismissed. Yeah. Even though it had a remarkable quality. Right. Well, I don't know what's the remarkable quality. Well, <laughs> only an Arab becomes a Jew, that's all. Oh, that, well, that's pretty <laughs> remarkable. I mean, that, that's, that's remarkable. That's not bad. Okay. Yeah, but I was just dismissing right then. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it was nothing. <laughs> like the man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're out there praying. That's yeah. a mask. Yeah. I yeah. you're challenging it, see? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the dream. Necessarily, right. Yeah. Pretty interesting what you're doing in the dream. You're challenging your own what? My own dismissiveness of yeah. my own self. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And my own seeing. And your own seeing. Yeah. Yeah. And now you're glad you have an opportunity to be able to record it. You know, when we first started, too, I went, oh, shit, I forgot a recorder. <laughs> <laughs> Just no. Oh. You know, we all come and record or, you know. Okay. okay. So we can expect you later mm -hmm. to recall such subjects. Mm -hmm. yeah. Since you're now showing an interest yourself, mm -hmm. etc. What about the scene shift? Are you going to do that? Yeah. The fish. What, what do you see about that, Julia? Well, it seems in, she's dismissing the fish. The fish has a bug. And I think fishes love bugs. But she takes it away from the fish. And I thought that was a form of dismissing. No. No. She's, no, she's, no not in the dream. Hey. No. You have an idea. Yeah, so have an idea. Don't conclude. Wait a minute. Ask her what it was like at that moment in the dream. So you don't have to conclude, but you can turn around. What can you say? Yeah. At that moment, when I had the bug, what was it like? Yeah, yeah. See, then you hold back your conclusion right. and let the conclusion emerge from the dreamer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Right, and that's very helpful because when she said that, I thought, I, know, I need to clarify it, you know, because her conclusion wasn't correct. Um, the bug was really cute. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was the cutest little bug, and I didn't think that fish should eat it, and, and so I See? flipped it out. <laughs> See? She's saving it. I yeah, saved the bug. Saved the bug. Right. Yeah. She See found the it saving. beautiful. She saved the bug. Boy, that's a theme. This so is, what was that like? This is this saving, too. It's all see? saving. This is saving, yeah. too. Wow. And therefore, nice. in that latter part of the dream, how are you functioning? A savior. Yeah. Yeah. So it's taking the, the same issue. Savior, so See, no. It's taking the same issue and putting it We're in terms it of a secondary scene where it's easy to see. Now can you take this and apply it to that? See, that's what a dream does. In other words, do you see any sign of dismissiveness in this? The second part? Yeah. Um, initially. Yeah, and right? what happened? I couldn't let that. You see? I couldn't let that be. Right. So you overcame the dismissiveness? Right. Right. Took a position right. that saved them both. Right. Yeah. And they're also Jews and Arabs. Fish and yeah. bugs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cute bugs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the fish was little too, but looked like a perch, <coughs> but the size of my hand. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how did it look? The fish? Yeah. Just a little fish. It had. 
it didn't have any personality. It had um, being and vitality to yeah. it. And I just couldn't let it yeah. Yeah. die. Yeah, and just, being in vi die. just being in vitality. And what did it, come on, go ahead. And when you did the, what you did with it, what was it like when it landed in the pool that could swim away? Dushku called it, it survives. How does it survive in the dream? It swims like a fish. It's like a fish is supposed to, it's not floundering. Now it can be a fish. Now it can be a fish. Yeah. What do you call that? Restoring? <laughs> yeah. What kind of a role are you playing? Restore? I don't you, know. you overcame your dismissive qualities. Right. You went positively. Mm -hmm. Right, you saved the bug and saved the fish, and now it can fully be a. It kept its own integrity. It, it kept, kept its, its own, own integrity. right, 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 yeah, right, and that's what this is all about: keeping integrity too. Yeah. But yeah. it's not yet visible, but yeah, it's visible here. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. So the question is: Can you take the values of this and read this in as a lemma? Right, as as a alternative conclusion. Yeah, I wondered what that had to do with that. But I thought it had to do with the dismiss. If I didn't dismiss the fish in the second part, but, you But know. you saved it. You saved both. Yes. Yeah. Mm, yeah. And there are also Arabs and Jews. Yeah. Fish and bugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which ones? Huh? Well, the fish are the Christians, right? <laughs> fish eat bugs. Fish eat bark, but this one was a, this one was a very unusual little bug, and I know fish just as Julie said, you know. Okay. Well, I just wondered if you pushed on that point of when you what what did you describe was the transition for I'm going to use that language for the fish when it went into the water, the the bigger pond or bigger water. I said it could swim like a fish. And you also said what it could keep its integrity. That's good, right? You said it could be a fish. It could be a, mind. yeah. Well, what's then the difference between the driveway fish and the fish in the second water? The, well, the puddles were in the driveway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But oh. I mean, w at one point, it was not surviving, right? No, it was floundering. Yeah. Right, so and, and, and it was going to die a, not a very nice death, and it wasn't good. Right, so you're talking about the negative. I want you to talk about then the contrast with the fish in the last scene. When I put it in the water? Because yes. you, remember you said mm -hmm. no personality that. in the first scene. Well, it didn't have a personality, but it had vitality and it had being and okay. fishness. Okay, oh, so then in that respect, was there a shift in the, to the last scene or no? Hmm. <coughs> to the last fish and water scene. Was there a shift? Shift? Um, For the fish. Oh, yeah. Okay. See. Yeah. Can you talk about that? Uh, it's just that that was the proper place for it. Uh -huh. That was what it was, was needed. Uh -huh. um, that took care of my state. My, I didn't walk away with that hanging over my head. Um, so I felt as though I dealt with its condition. Yeah. So I'm not sure if I'm answering. Maybe I was fishing too much on it. Huh? Fishing too much. No. That look, line of thinking. Look, look here. Line of thinking. See, Barbara uncovered a metaphor that is used in the dream, right? You brought it forth, she asked about it, you agreed with it. Take that metaphor and go back in the dream and ask about it. Right? What was the metaphor? See? Uh, actually, it was just similar. Uh, how was the fish in the beginning? What did you call it again? What was it doing? It was um, eating a bug. Uh, or it did, had a bug in its mouth. Did you say it was floundering? Oh, the f when I put it into the, yes, it was floundering. But now when I put it in the water, That's but... Right. But did you say it was floundering? Yes. 
Yeah, I've got yeah. a picture of it floundering. Yeah. Who's floundering in the dream? The man. Or the Jews. The Jews. Or the, the Jews. Arabs. Yeah. Or the man. Yeah. All and all of those people there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Are they all floundering, or some of them? How does the image of floundering apply in the dream? Well, although I don't know if the Jews were, because they were in the courtyard of the Arabs, praying for peace. Yeah, that's true. That's so interesting. It is kind of metaphoric, because they were kind of like the fish in the driveway, yeah. you know, the way that courtyard was, yeah. now that I see it. That's you right. know? Yeah. Interesting. Therefore, that makes a possible connection between. Yeah. Go ahead. The, well, the the fish and, and the Jews and right. the Arabs. Right. right. So you pick up the you pick up the image and apply it. Good. Good. Well, the, how did you see the fish at first when you saw it taking the bug? I mean, what's your opinion of him? Well, I didn't want that fish to eat that bug. And it was on the driveway, but in the dream, there was nothing about, there's no water around here. It was just like this, the fish was in the driveway and, and had this cute little bug. And, and the bug was struggling, and I wanted to a, save it. So when I, because I flicked it, okay. I kind of did this thing. So okay. the bug scurried off, and the fish now is. So what did we have to do in this dream to pull out the meaning? How important was it to talk about Israel? The, the metaphor. Yeah. Right, yeah. and to see the conflict within there, and to pick right. up whether or not the same dynamics and the second applies to the first. Right. And we still have, we're still open as to what it was you were talking about. Hopefully, you're going to get a recording that's futuristic. That's true. Right. Yeah. And you overcame the quality of being dismissive and several key points, which is certainly rewarding, isn't it? Very much so. Yeah. And the, uh, the recording, would have, it was something beautiful. Yeah, yeah. good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. Yes. Wow. William? Time's called Bill. Once in a while. <laughs> Take a few minutes out, take a look at it. Take the first, first, right. In the dream, are there two parts to the dream? Is there a transition?
dramatic, a dramatic transition from the first to the second part? Can you identify that pivotal point where it shifts? Does it look like the first part deals with a failure and the second part with a success? As you look over it, what does it depend upon? Is there anything in the dream that looks unknown that you need to probe to discover more about it? What's important about this dream that would be meaningful to the dreamer? Same question with Rhonda. What, what is it that's going on? Well, he's, he's freaking out, and all the evidence in the rest of the dream says there's no reason for it. Ah, therefore, what's the flaw? The freaking out. Without any... Without any reason. Reason. To. Right, 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 right. And Therefore, do you see the point where it turns? I, I might say where Rhonda chuckles. Yeah, she's chuckling. She's saying. Well, but right. we don't know what she's saying. <laughs> it doesn't agree. say that. Yeah. Said Rhonda right. could be laughing yeah. at yeah. him in a positive or negative right. way. Right. But the, the Rhonda character sees what's, sees what's happening. And then, um, well, there, so I don't have a syllabus, which is... It, Okay. Kind of that's okay. Now, but then we're still. That was very helpful, but we're still on this, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, I'd say it's when he realizes I don't have to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. What would you want to know about that? What do you call that moment? A waking up. A waking up. Ah, it's a waking up dream. Mm hmm. Mm. then ideally, what would you want to know? What was that moment like? Yeah, yeah, let's describe it, right? So you need a description, right? 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 And, of course, the ending, agree? <laughs> what, do you find, what do you find interesting about the ending? Yeah. There's a, there's a relief. I could, I could sleep. Ah, what do you want to know about it? <laughs> it's um, awake. <laughs> what was it like to, uh, to have that realization? Uh, where would you start the realization? I realized I don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, that's a, what, yeah, that's a realization. Right? There's another one, too. I know I can do it, but I don't really want right. to. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, that I could wing it just by telling them more. <laughs> Uh, any, anything else interesting? Is there another state of mind that's missing? Maybe um, before the realization, he's thinking about all these almost like excuses. I'm not prepared, but I don't want them to have bias, and I'm, he's freaking out, and all the parts of that are showing up, and then he goes... Sure, so, see, in, in here you're pointing out that they're very clearly states of mind worth describing, right? Right. That's right. Okay, anything else in uh, missing state of mind that you'd like to know about? Could be positive, could be negative, rather important. Well, there's that thing about have to. What about but, have to? Um, I, wonder, I wonder what state of mind goes along with that having to. Yeah, could you read the sentence? Okay. Um, so I just, uh, I didn't want to give them a syllabus. Um, I have to get ready for class, first of all. Um, and that I didn't want to give them a syllabus. Um, 
Hmm. I know. That's a luxury. That's a luxury. Yeah. Okay. Right. What about, Pierre, what about the, I find the tenses are very strange. You know, the I will not have a syllabus. Does that mean, what does that mean? For me, I mean, it's a question. I'll just tell them. That sounds like a solution. I didn't want to give them one. And then, again, there's no problem. Like, the problem dissipates further. So they would not use it for a bias. Mm -hmm. That I find very, very interesting yeah. about how the course would go. Like, what is, what is the desired state of mind? Or what, I say desired because, well, it looks like an interesting sentence, I guess. So the point you're raising is that hidden in this first part is a drama that is not clear. Mm. Yes. And you would like to see yeah. what's behind what's that behind drama. Yeah. Are perfectly legit. And therefore you'd have to ask a couple of questions about it to make that clear. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we do it now? Okay, what do you make of the dream now? Well, first of all, I want to clarify. So I didn't want to give them a syllabus. That's what I told them. That's what I was going to tell them so that I would cover up the fact that I didn't have a syllabus. Oh. And then I was going to make up some... It, it, it was like I knew I wouldn't have a syllabus, but I had to do the class anyhow. I mean, I felt that whole thing in a dream. And so I was going to tell them, that's like a quote. I'll say to them... I won't give you a syllabus today because uh, I think it's a good thing that you don't have a syllabus today and you can come on Thursday and I'll give you the syllabus. So you and overcame the loss. I came, overcame the loss, but I also knew it was kind of bullshit. You know what I mean? I felt yeah. that at the yeah. time. Okay. It's like so in that in. sense, that's a, vic that's a way of handling a, that's a right. loss or a defeat into a victory. That's right? true. Yeah, it, could, right. it would, be, so it would see, be no problem at all. That's right. right. So what you thought was your problem turns out to be because of what you're doing creative enough to overcome it, right? That's right. So, that's a, let's see, that's a minor victory within the dream. There's several, right? Okay. But there's also the state of mind that that's what I always do. I, I mean, that's what I always do. I've been doing it for 30 years, you know what I mean? Do it at the last minute, you know, enough to get by and go on. It, it doesn't always happen, I mean, but that's a very common state of mind that I had when I was teaching, so it comes up here to, to remind me of something, I believe. Now, did you overcome it in the past the way the dream yeah. suggested? Very much. So therefore, this is a pattern, Yes. right, that the dream is bringing up for you. Right, and it's, to me, a, it's a dynamic that I've had for a long time, which is right. to just get by. So this is a pattern, this is a common dy dynamic. Definitely. That's the, see, we're getting more about the drama, right? That it's reliving his view of what it is to be achieving some kind of a goal in teaching as the example. Okay, good. Keep, keep going? Um, well, that whole thing, I didn't want to give them a syllabus so they would not use it for a bias about how the course would go. And that's the point I would give them. And, uh, but it's really kind of bullshit. I knew it. Mm -hmm. You know, that this mm -hmm. is a way to cover my tracks. So I solved the problem. As yeah. far as they know, they wouldn't know any difference. Right, right. Right, I knew that. And then um, the part, I know I can do it, but I don't really want to. Yeah. That's very crucial to me. I've done it so many times in the past, I don't want to do that again. And you don't. Well, because <laughs> thankfully I get that realization. They hadn't told me when the class met. That's right. What's that like? That's the waking up. Okay, do that. Well, it's kind of like suddenly I go like, wait a minute, because I'm going to have to leave at, I think, about 8 o'clock and get there. And then I realize, well, when did the class meet? You know, they, they never told me that. And so, and then after that, I went like, wait, I, this is, I'm not going to school. I'm not going to go there. I'm, you know, that kind of, in the dream was that. I, it does, I don't have to do that anymore. I don't have to do that cop out Look anymore. See. I don't have to do that anymore. Is not that I don't have to do it and I don't have to do that now, but I don't have to do that. What does that mean? 
It's a whole dynamic. The whole dynamic. It's more than just teaching. Right. It's this whole it's permeates thing. Permeates my whole life. Right. It's this whole thing I don't have to do anymore. That's right. That's ah. right. And you, you just said I don't have to do that cop out anymore. Well, yeah. that's what I said. I mean, it's yeah, like uh, I'll do what I can get by with, just yeah. get by, which yeah. is some insight I've had before. Yeah. 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 Now, yeah. it's important that every night since then, I've had a dream, which I haven't been able to catch, yeah. except for that dynamic. I don't have to do that anymore. Yeah. It's come up yeah. clear to me, yeah. and I get the rest of the dream, and wow, there's another dream like that. And all day long since then, I've been thinking about, what, what is that? What is that that I'm doing? Okay, look, let me suggest something, okay? Bill told me before that he made an error when he typed out the dream. So just take the last <laughs> sentence out. It's not important. Ah. <laughs> right? Right? Well, I would, I would want to know, no, it's important. What? <laughs> but I, oh, I'm what sure would you, I well, who cares about it? I'm not sure. Uh, what would you ask? Well, um, in what sense, like, how, what was that like for you? That you could now sleep. Uh, no, go to the quote. That you didn't. At, I could sleep. Read the quote and say, at that time, because you right. changed it when you restated it. And then I realized I don't have to do that anymore. Stop. Go ahead. I could sleep. Look here. Uh, isn't that interesting? I can sleep, huh? I could. Oh, oh, that doesn't matter. Does that matter that you mix the two? Did I mix them? I said, mm. what? what was I saying? Can and could. Does that make any difference in the dream? You read yes, it as can. I did? Okay. Um, what yes, is there it? Difference. Oh, there are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's the difference? Hmm. Could means you couldn't before, right? Well, it means something. So we want to yeah. know at that time using the quote, which is why I asked you to read the quote so you don't do interpreting yeah. and lose a good point, right? I could sleep. Yeah, what was that like in this the dream? See? Um. I don't think I make the distinction of can and could, because could with some sort of provision has to be made. We deal only with the dream. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> um, there's a reason I could sleep. There's because of this situation that I've discovered, that I don't have to do that. I mean, I don't have to go get up this early. It was 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And, uh, Did that answer the question? No. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> what was it like at that point in the dream when you came to that conclusion? All the tension was gone. It was Go ahead, more. very relaxed, uh, I guess I could say happy, but it really... Um, you it, said happy? Yeah, it's good for happy. Uh, a little bit though. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's, I was happy. I was, I was relieved is the word for it. Definitely relieved. Definitely relieved. Yeah, no, that that was like a clearing, like a whole cloudy sense of my being was gone. Yeah. Was very, yeah. Now I'm very. It's a very simple life now. I mean, very direct, and uh, it's yeah, not I'm that direct I'm, here. Yeah, not uh, more. Not trying to put on a show or something like, like that. No I'd show. Be, be sincere would be a right. better way to say it. It's right. like uh, I can really reveal myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can or reveal. Maybe it's uh, better than that. It's like I don't, it's, it's a freedom, definitely a freedom. Say, have you had that kind of state before? Probably every day. Where? <laughs> How high is that? Oh, this is huge. It's up there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Because I have the other part all the time. I do what I can get by with. Yeah. You know, I, 
when I know I could better. Yeah. That's what's in the dream. I could have done this, could, could have done it, uh, you know, before now. And so there's something important about this dream that it brought you into this stage. Definitely. Right. And it keeps reminding me of that. Yeah. Two nights later. Yeah. Yeah. So this statement that we were stressing before, anymore, is a finality to mm -hmm. it, yes, it that is. allows this to right. emerge, That's right. doesn't it? That's right. Right? That's the final part of it. Yeah. Whereas these other things were never yeah. final. Yeah. They were always oh. something left yeah. to do. Yeah. How important was the last sentence? Key. If it was can or could. Well. Now, he, now he can allow it. Right? I could. He can could allow it. Yeah, I have the... Uh, yeah. Ten is past, present past. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. But it's also conditional. Yeah, and I conditional. Yeah. 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 Very... Interesting dream? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I thought so. about the conditional part, if you don't mind? Well, I, using the word could, but I, I don't see that so much. Uh, I I would say I can sleep, but I could sleep because this happened. That It's not going to happen. I'm not going to go to school. I'm not going to have to do that... Uh, bullshit anymore. It's like, you know, that that was definitely in there. But it's it's conditional on that, that I oh. I, I could sleep, if, if that's so, true. So is it possible that this guy, uh, you may know him, has he ever flirted, uh, do you know, has he ever flirted around or fooled around with sitting? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Oh, what would you want to know about this state? Oh, good. How does it compare with the other states you've experienced when sitting? Oh, good question. Uh, you mean it's meditation sitting, yeah. Take your highest state in sitting, and what is that? As you compare this state in the dream with your experience in past Zen games, where would you rate this in respect? Oh, that's the highest. Therefore, what kind of experience are we talking about? Breakthrough. A breakthrough, can show Definitely. type experience. Definitely. Right. Hidden behind the last sentence. <laughs> right. Good thing it was there, and here he was persuading me it wasn't there. Well, <laughs> if you look at it, it's like um, I I would now be able to sleep as long as I want. And do what I want. And do what I want. Do what I want because I don't have anybody else's schedule on me. That's right. It's my own schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Fun. Thank you. Okay. Okay, here we go. Absolutely. Oh, is that? This is uh, from this morning. We're starting a dream out here and we can hear you really loud, guys. <laughs> alert, alert. I was set to be in this fight with this boxer. Like somehow or another I got to this stage or set up. I realized I was on my own. Um, that's in a month. I got to start training. I started thinking about all the stuff I had to do, started thinking about the shots he was going to put on me. I was like, I'm not doing this. It was supposed to be some other guy and then Mike Tyson. I was just imagining Mike Tyson hitting me. I was not going to get in the ring with these guys. <laughs> so this is an interesting daydream within a dream, right? Mm -hmm. What do you make of that? I don't, I'm not sure. Good. It, well, yeah. Just it was 
very vivid, you know, I was imagining how painful it would be. <laughs> More. Yeah, seeing. Seeing what it would be like. Mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. Would you agree it has its own drama? I was set to be in this fight with this boxer. Like somehow or another, I got to this stage or set up. I realized I was on my own. That's in a month. I got to start training. I started thinking about all the stuff I had to do. Started thinking about the shots he was going to put on me. I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing this. It was supposed to be some other guy and then Mike Tyson. <laughs> I was just imagining Mike Tyson hitting me. I'm not getting in the ring with these guys. No, and Mike Tyson is just a local guy? No, Mike Tyson is an animal. <laughs> Among animals. He's the best boxer, right? He's mm. the champion. It's an archetype, see? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think of all history, yeah. right? How are you going to deal with a daydream within a dream? Mm -hmm. Put that apart, mm -hmm. unless you have a good answer. <laughs> all right. If you don't have a good answer, we'll deal with the dream. But we have to go back to it. So, success or failure? Success. Success? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Success, right? Yeah. Yeah, avoiding. <laughs> what brought about the success? Uh, the realization of what's to come, possibly. Right. Uh, the time I would right. have to spend. So this is a future, future, right? Right. And that dealt with the time I would have to get prepared. Yeah, I'm on my own. I don't like, I, there was like, another part was like, there's my friend was supposed to help me out and like, He's off, and so I was having to do all this training supposedly by myself. No help. Yeah. Alone. Just yourself. And given all of that, you come to a conclusion. No way. At what point in the dream? At th this point, I was like, I'm not fucking doing this. <laughs> Therefore, we want to know what, <laughs> at that moment, what was it like, mm. right? Go ahead. No way. Come on. What no chance. Like? like, you're going to have to kill me to bring me in there. Like, <laughs> I am not doing this. You're going to have to drag me in there. And time, too, is a, another aspect, right? Like, I'm not putting the time into all this training I have to do to do this. Because the training would be uh, well, your view just, of the it, training is just it would take too much time. And would it be effective? Would you then beat? No. No. Therefore, it wouldn't work. Right. Then this is yeah. all a waste. Right. Waste. Yes. Waste of time. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So, what was that like coming to that conclusion? <clears throat> that could then move on. Look, sir. No way. I'm not going to do this. I have to drag me. No way. Right. Right. Now, what kind of state of mind is this? Defiant. More. Right. You're like. 
any right? Is it also right or just defiant? Given your reasoning. Well, yeah, it's right. It's accurate. It's, what? It's right. It's right. That I shouldn't go through all this. Yeah, this is my life. <laughs> Therefore, that presents a problem in the dream. Read the first sentence. I'm, yeah, I was set to be in this fight with a boxer. There it is. It's set up like there's it's, some there's the an event. The whole thing is set up. Yeah, there's right? a, like there's a big event happening. <laughs> but the word "set up" Las suggests Vegas. something else. <laughs> like what? A uh, set up. It's set up. Yeah, I'm set I'm up. I'm being set up. Yeah. Big and time. I'm gonna be a guinea pig, you know, like this is a... <clears throat> <clears throat> and there's gonna be... <clears throat> those are gonna... Right? And, you're, and you're seeing that that role of being set up, you realize is, come on. Phony. No way of going, right? No, not no success, yeah, no yeah. victory. You're giving up the set up. Someone set it up. Hmm. What are you doing about the setting up? I'm just not going to do it. Oh, so I'm rejecting the what? The setup. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Being, I'm rejecting being what? Duped. Or set up, or, right? Coaxed. Why is that important to you? Like I said earlier, like I can see, like this is my life uh, from, you know, up till twenty. Yeah. yeah. Like continuous setups where you know failures, hmm. one after the other after the other. Yeah. Uh, there's something you said. Uh, I'm on my own. Yeah. You said that in there. I think it's a significant uh, dynamic to get to the point of not being set up. You're on your own. So I'd ask you more about what you mean by the escape when you say that. Uh, in, in reference to the dream, that was like uh, I was supposed to be training <coughs> with a friend, <coughs> and he was not showing up. So I was on my own <coughs> if I was going to do the training. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. This is always an important question and a curious question in dream work. How much does the dream master know about you? <laughs> right? So let me ask it another way, all right? What, is, what does the dream master know about the way we deal with daydreams? This is a success daydream, right? Therefore, there's always a realization at the end of significance. He sees that this is, in principle, phony. That's not enough. Every daydream starts with a self-image, does it not? And do we not say that the entire drama of the daydream plays out the image of the self? Therefore, what would you want to know about this dream that starts off, what is his hmm. initial self-image? What's it like? First sentence. <laughs> Go ahead. I was set up to be in this. That's it. <laughs> What's it like being set up? Mm. You're locked in. You're locked in, more. It's like all the opposite, right, of that you got to show up. This is set up. This is concrete. Big event. What image does that create of you when you're locked in? 
you have to go along with it. It's something concrete. Mm. It's a big event, right? Yeah. Again, what kind of image is that for you? Being. You're you're forced. Look here. Have you ever studied art? Yeah. Yeah. Paint it. You're you're chained. Again. You're chained. chained. You're a prisoner. You're a prisoner. Come on. Yeah. Put, come you on. don't have a choice. No choice. Come on. This is set up, so you got to show up. And there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. You find that helpful? Yeah. Therefore, when he gets an insight at the end of the dream, what does that do to the I, this self-image? He's broken out of it. He's broken out of it. But the dream master is letting him know something he's not aware of, which is he's already broken out of something and he doesn't know it. Somehow or another, I missed that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. So, um, uh, are you into this game of philosophy? Yes, sir. Yeah. Are you doing a lot of practice? Yeah. What's it saying about practice for you? Practice? That it's not worth your time? That's right. What's that mean? You're not, you're in, right? You're applying, you're applying this game to philosophy. What does that mean? Do you realize, what do you realize? Come on. What's it like, this realization? shouldn't go through the, which, which one? See, what was this waking up like? Come on. Oh, I, yeah, I don't have to do it. That's not a description. Right. Give me a picture. Um, I'll I, tell you. I'm just free. I'm just I'll, walking down the street free. I'm not going to that event. No way. <laughs> like, hey, I don't, I'm not going to the prom. I can list all these things that I didn't want to do, you know, like. See, you're adding negatives of what you're not, blah, 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 blah. Stay with the positives. What's it like? Oh, yeah, well, I'm going to put my soul into all these things I love, right? I'm now right. free to... Yeah, explore right. and... What? Do what I want. <clears throat> What's that like? Yeah, freedom. This is a freedom of the soul, right? Yeah, delightful. It's de what, de what? Delightful. How do you it's say like it? leaving a torture chamber. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's like. It's like leaving a torture chamber. Yeah. Yeah, all that other shit is like miserable. You, yeah, you're putting it negatively. Oh, okay. <laughs> no good. What's that like? Yeah, free, easy. Simple, direct. Yeah, there's an ease to it. Do you like this state of mind? Oh, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> what kind of a state of mind is that? We could ask him that same question, <laughs> couldn't we? Oh, hey, you ever fool there? around with uh, what yeah, Bill it's, did? It's on the top, it's, it's up there. Oh, and therefore? Yeah, keep what, going. Like what is it saying about practice? I don't practice. <laughs> Are you committed to practice? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yes. Why? Yeah, because... You think you still need to practice? 
אוקיי. He still thinks he needs to practice. Right. I get it. Hey, look. Thank you. Oh, we got one. Okay. Thank you, sir. Pleasure, 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 pleasure. There's a lot of stuff on this, you know? I mean, look, more. Here's some water for you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Zuri, buddy, I'm going to like borrow just for a second, hold up in front of the camera. Oh, Okay, take a moment out. Do you have it? Does everyone have a copy of this thing? Good, good. Guys, I gotta run. Does anyone want to run the camera? Agree there are three episodes in the dream. As you look over the dream, has the dreamer given you any states of mind? Quiet on the floor is the closest thing you get to one. Yeah. All right. So is it likely you might want to ask States of mind question, right? Yeah. Because there's no drama. Right. You want to unearth the drama. Right? So you know it's incomplete. So you're going to draw the dreamer out to fill in. Hey, what happened in the dream, right? So there's a missing part. Right? Among the th first, second, and third, is there any part of it that looks more significant to start your inquiry on? Yeah. Give me a number. Two. I go for three. 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 Rhonda? Two. I mean, um, three, depending on what three, three. means. <laughs> one. <laughs> Me too, depending on what two means. Okay, one, two, three. Not a complete baby. What do you find interesting about the first sentence you picked it? Well, I, I read it through once. There's a baby on the floor. Isn't that the first sentence? No. Oh well. Many, 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 many little children. Many little children. Well, yeah. I still go there. Mm -hmm. what, what, what's, what's that like? I mean, that's that usual, unusual. What's that like? That's. Cool. Okay. Just wanted to get more. Yeah, go ahead. Well. Which one are you going to look at? Oh, two. The children are 
quiet on the floor. I'm wondering what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Are they sleeping or? Okay, good. How do you want to approach it? Um, on the floor by the bed are many little children. Um, I left out one detail. We are in the bed. Gil and I are in the bed. We are what? In the bed, sleeping. Oh, we're on the it's bed. It's like I'm dreaming. Hold it. We're on the bed sleeping. Okay. Go ahead. And it's like, it's like almost like a waking dream. It's like it's very real, like as if I'm looking, really looking, as I'm lying in the bed, I'm looking over and I'm really seeing these little children. It's very real. It's like a little bit startling, even shocking to see all these kids on the floor. What's shocking about it? Um, I didn't know they were there. <laughs> and um, they're just quietly playing, you know, either, but they don't seem like children happily at play. They just are just sort of in a suspended kind of place, not just kind of waiting there on the floor. It was very um, unsettling to see them there. I, they, I didn't know they were there, and there they were. Um, and um, in the dream, I can look at those children and say, well, they're quiet, and they're on the floor, and they're not really, you know, they don't see, it doesn't seem good or right, but they don't really need anything. But then there is this unformed baby on the floor, and um, it's very clear that it's still formative. It's not a... a whole child like these other children, mm -hmm. and that's horrible. Ah, that's horrifying. Ah. It's almost more than I can take to see this this baby, this fetus baby on the floor, uncared for, naked, cold. Yeah, that's a pretty intense experience, mm -hmm. isn't it? Right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, it was it was terrible. Yeah, yeah. Um, any interaction between the children on the floor and the and the fetus? No. They're what then indifferent or? Um, they don't even see it. Okay. But I don't think those little children, well, yeah, they're, they're together, they're kind of interacting, but they don't see that baby fetus. Right. You're the one that's doing the scene. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um. You have a nice way of talking about it. It's between. Right? Yes. Talk about that. Um, at first, at first, one could say, oh, well, there's a baby. But if you really look at it, it's not a formed baby. And it's terribly vulnerable. It's not being cared for. It's not attached to a mom. It's, uh, it's actually, it's a little anatomically horrible to see this thing on the floor. It's just so unformed and so at risk. So, that's a very real experience, very intense. Terrible, horrible, right? right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying, right? Um, this, now, they're not seeing anything. That still follows the idea that they're quietly playing, right? This fits together, doesn't it? Yeah. Right. So it's a contrast between children who don't see anything, and you, you're the seer. You're okay. actively seeing, right, and I'm shocked at what you're seeing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Say, I imagine you've had uh, scenes in your past that you might judge as horrible. Right? Where would you put this one? Right at the top. Right? Yeah. And is there any sense now in the dream of you doing anything other than seeing? See, look at the way you wrote it. Yeah, it's very neutral the way I wrote it. Um, and that was the way I experienced the dream. And then when I woke up, I got the full brunt of the feeling of this horrible thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm watching it in the dream. And then I wake up and, and I think, oh my God, someone's got to take care of that, ba that baby. See, what is it like I am watching it. Watching. I'm watching it. Right. Well, that's, a, that's a good question um, because in the dream it's almost, it's like I, I see myself lying there, you know, just lying there. He is asleep. I wake up. I see it. And it's like I can't move. It's like a, a um, being trapped in a state. I'm looking at it. And it's horrifying, but I, I, I can't do anything about it. Yeah, you're trapped, right? Can't move. You're watching it. You can't move. There's nothing you can do, right? Or you can't move. You, you're trapped. Right. That's the feeling in the body. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think that that's reflected in this kind of dispassionate so language in the. I. It's not. I can't move. I'm trapped. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, in terms of the dream, then, uh, there's no thought about whether or not you could do anything since you're, yeah. you're trapped. No, there was no thought of that. No thought, no. right? So you're watching. Uh, and it, it, it's you can't move or can't be trapped, so it's like it's impossible for you to do anything. I would say that's right. It would be impossible to do anything. Because what you're looking at is in between, right? It's not fully formed. It's it's yeah. Now, when did you have the dream? Uh, two nights ago. Two nights ago? Yeah. The reason I ask that because uh, did you experience this kind of state? I have been going through this kind of state. Yeah. Yeah. In a significant way, probably, I mean, I, I actually got kind of, I got very sick because I, I was so um, affected by this state yeah. in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have been affected, right, mm -hmm. by this state and effective, right, both sides. Right, and the feeling level is whether it fit as well as um, the world around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the dream telling you about? It's, um, I think that the unformed um, condition of the fetus is what might help us understand what's going on in it because the baby, it's neither this nor that. So I don't know what it is. Yeah. So you stay with the dream. From this, what would you conclude about your reaction? That the st this state of being unable to do anything, like shackled, is just horrible. It's the worst. Yeah, well, that's true. Didn't answer the question. Okay, I'm sorry. I guess I didn't. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Yeah. But you can't do anything. It's Could impossible. Could you ask me again? I'll try. Yeah. It's impossible. There's nothing you can do. 
Yeah, what do you think of your reaction if it's impossible and there's nothing you can do? Okay. Then I just go into um, paralysis. No. no. Okay. And I watch. <laughs> um. What are you taking, what are you doing in this dream? You are reacting to something in, under your control or outside? Outside my control. Then what do you think about your reaction to it? If it is truly impossible to do anything? Oh. Hmm. Then I'm allowing my reaction to just absolutely destroy me. And ra the, what's the dream doing? Saying that that's a, a really um, stupid thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, we started off this morning. Got a couple of questions you have to answer. What is the role of dreams? What are the implications of them? Huh? What's your involvement in them? Huh? What are you going to do about it? Are you really asking me? Yes. Um, I'm going to figure out a way to not be in that trap situation. Nope. There's no way. Then I'm going to stop being upset about it. There's no way. Mm. You mean there's no way out of the situation? There's no way out of it. Therefore, you're going to look for a way to get out? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, the answer is not to be destroyed by it. It's an internal answer. Yeah. It's, wait a minute. It's, it's the state that has the problem, not you. That's right. You're doing That's what? Right. Mm. I'm allowing it to hurt me. That's right. But it's not my problem. It's but it's it. not your problem. That's it. That's it. Thank you. That's <laughs> yes, it. That's okay. It. What does three say? Our under, our what? What are the implications of it? I'm just pulling the implications right now from that dream. Mm-hmm. Does that end up having a positive value? Oh. What do you, you see, you gotta push the implications of the dreams always, right? What does that mean for you? Deep. Yeah, for your dream, yeah. Can you ask that question again? I'm busy taking notes. That's a tough one, yeah, right? What are you gonna do? The implications? Yeah. in the wake of that, you know, um, I, I don't know at this point. Um, Therefore, it's unfinished. What are you going to do? What are the implications of the dream? Bill, what are the implications of the dream? To me, the role of that dream is to remind me of something that's already happened. Yeah. And I've had that insight. And it's kind of, it, since it keeps coming back, I haven't seen what that is. Mm -hmm. I don't have to do that anymore. It's kind of giving a great question. So, See, he's reflecting on the dream and looking for the implications, right? Um, See, with that, without that, you're just making a comment upon an experience. You have to draw the implications on your life of the dream. In my sense, Pierre, the implications there are that it's, of course, reminding me something in the future that I have to uh, keep up with. I mean, I have to keep aware of. And that in order to do that, and it's happened that way. I mean, every day, all day long, I have that dream in my mind mm. and see how it affects what I'm doing. Mm. So 
save it. That's a big guy. Is, is it is it possible to say that in some sense the dream has nothing to do with the dreamer? Has very little to do with the dreamer? In that whatever drama is going on in the dream, especially in some of these dreams, led to a state of liberation, simplicity, clarity, mm -hmm. type of functioning outside of the drama of the dream. Or it brings to the surface, <clears throat> it brings to the surface something that's not in the, in the recording of the dream. Yeah. Like that's, that. it, what are you saying? But that's more closer to the self, though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you're bringing yourself into the dream. Okay. Have you have an interest in the uh, idea lately. of self? Lately. Oh. <laughs> Due to some perverse translation. So. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank okay. you, Pierre. Quite a stint. Sure. What was that? He lovely? said. Quite a stint. Quite a quite a quite a journey today. Thank you. Oh. But, uh, yes, thank you. Very fine. Not much to eat over. A little bit of ice somewhere else. What was that last point you saw that about bringing the self into the dream? Well, that what Pierre clar helped clarify is that, that the dream brings along something that's not in the dream itself. That's a part of you. Another way of putting that is that the dream reveals. That, that, that you're not in the dream to some degree. Oh, okay. That, that the drama of the dream disregards the, the self to some degree. Mm -hmm. mm. A vital aspect of the self, right on, Dis which is the self. Disregards the, a false image of the self or genuine? The genuine. Yeah. Yeah. Because... Yeah, how? Well, I just based on the last couple of dreams, it seems like the resolution was after all the drama and all the trouble that the, the, the clarity had nothing to do with the, that was found at the end of the dreams, right. had very little to do with the drama that you had to go through to get to the clarity. Mm -hmm. Right. But wouldn't that be the genuine self? Yeah. See, uh, so try so. this. What would happen, uh, any of you know, uh, Yanni? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there he is. Suppose Yanni came in with a dream that it was all there. It was all there? All there. Didn't, didn't have to ask any questions. He recorded and put in it everything that was in the dream. What would that be like? <laughs> that would be fun to see. Right? <laughs> yeah. It would be great. So look here. Our problem is we don't see the value of dreams hmm. as vital to us. Right. If we did, would be, would, what would follow? Oh, it would be on every right street corner, like... Uh, reminding us and sharing them and having meetings like this on a grander universal world global scale right cultivating them like setting up your life mm -hmm. in accordance with uh, that communication oh. how many dreams have you noticed in the last three times we've had a review where the particular state of mind that developed could be akin to or similar to Zen states of mind. Oh yeah, right. Again and again. Yeah. We're on a roll. Yeah. This group is on a roll. Rather nice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. Same time tomorrow then. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, here. Oh no. Okay. Regina, here. You mean for the for yeah, the Fido it. talk? I think she said it was okay. Is it all right, Gina? It's Sunday. I'm I'm leaving town, so things are not yeah. appropriate. That's a yes. She said yes. Yeah. And they're doing the we're doing the Fido. Okay. Good. Yeah.